Just don't get it understood, boy. I am from the hood, boy. Came up from the dirt, dirt. Self made hustler, I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm surrounded by all these devil mouths. They talking about kale. Some say I came from heaven, but I rose up from hell. I asked who brought for a post fight interview. He said yes. I conducted the interview in a backstage area inside his tent. I started the interview. Mid-interview, he grabbed my face and kissed me. I was immediately shocked and embarrassed and didn't know how to respond. So if Tyson Fury gets through Tom Schwartz, do you think you should have a shot? Yes. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it made me feel uncomfortable and frustrated that Kubrat Pula would treat me in such an unprofessional manner. Later that night, a friend invited me to an after party. There was an opportunity to interview more fighters, and therefore I decided to go. Mr. Pula did not join until the very end of the night. He acted like nothing happened, but later at the party, he asked me to remove the kiss from the interview. Groupies, gold diggers, social climbers, opportunists have been around as long as rich, powerful men. We know the difference between a victim and a gold digger, a survivor or a groupie. Your behavior will tell us who you are, not your words. If you have cancer, you go to a doctor, therapist, treatment center, specialist who can help you solve the problem. You don't go to hair, makeup, wardrobe on a TV series, do talk shows, radio, reality TV, and write books. You don't seek fame over solutions. Real victims of sexual abuse generally shun the spotlight as they seek real solutions. They go to doctors, therapists, police, judges, courts. They have litigation pending. They have evidence. Groupies are synonymous with music. Sex, drugs, rock and roll is the moniker for the music industry. Gold diggers, social climbers, opportunists hunt rich, powerful men to have sex, to get pregnant, to have an ATM baby, which means they get a check, to audition to be the mistress, to get their bills paid, or to just be a fuck buddy and have sex for status to be able to say they had sex with a rich, famous, powerful man. They don't want to work a job or get an education to take care of themselves. Their nine to five is finding a wealthy man to take care of them. Hold on to your wallets. That fix it. Here comes Britain's most shameless gold diggers. I'm a professional gold digger. Money makes me happy. Will you pay for all this? Because obviously I don't carry cash. Experts in the art of rinsing men for cash. I'm not going to pick up the pillow, am I? Tonight. Is there someone there who's worth me coming? A professional sugar baby hunts down the rich and famous. Rich men love pretty girls. We meet a self-styled gold digger. Oh, get paid now. Oh. Who hit the jackpot when she nabbed a millionaire. And he's got a large penis, which helps. And like bees to honey. The ladies who swarm around one rich man. That one's done it for me. Who's loving every minute. I'm dating four or five women at all times. It was money that attracted me to Mark, and that's the God's honest truth. Recently separated after 22 years of marriage, Mark's back to playing the field. And when you're as loaded as he is, you can get the youngest, hottest babes in town. I like to have a pretty thing on my arm, purely because it makes me feel great. Mark might be lapping up the young lovelies, but the ladies on his arm have their own agenda. As close friend Towie's Abby Clark is all too aware. The type of women that are attracted to Mark, as a protective friend, I would say, are gold diggers. But Mark couldn't care less. I have lots of girlfriends. I enjoy the company of women. People might think I'm a Lothario or a Flair. Mark is the ladies' man. Every single one of my friends that have ever come round and met him, he has tried it on with them. I'm dating a few women at all times. 
let's say four or five. Part of the interviewing process is sex. They will engage in orgies, group sex, menage de trois, as they climb the social ladder from poverty to wealth, similar to when men try out for a sports team. You do whatever is asked of you to be on the team. Women get butt implants, breast work, Botox, invest in sexy clothes and lingerie, to manipulate, brainwash, control men sexually. This has gone on since the beginning of time. When females hunt rich, powerful men, engage in volitional sex, participate in their own mistreatment because they don't want to get a job. They are complicit. They are not victims. They are volunteers. Sorting through intentions is almost impossible because a female will never tell a wealthy man, I'm here for the bag. My name is Bill, and I own one of the largest privately owned real estate companies in America. What would you say your net worth is? I'm not going to say my net worth. My name is Brianna. Bill and I met when I was working as a hostess. I wasn't looking for love, but I could tell he was interested. Tonight, Bree and I are having dinner with some of my friends and partners. This group of friends of mine, they definitely speak their mind. Yes, they do. Bree, how old are you? So I am 21. Oh. To me, age is just a number. That's a huge age gap. But our love is big. Bigger bigger than our age gap. Maybe Bree is with Bill for his prominence and his money. Maybe she's a social climber. She will present herself as naive, innocent, seeking love when what she really wants is a check. There are parties where rich wealthy men attend and the ratio of women to men is 50 to 1. Young, attractive females in thongs and high heels with hair weaves, breast implants, looking more like strippers and porn stars. There to feast on the free food, the alcohol flowing, and the drugs. All looking to get on scholarship. A term used for being taken care of by a sugar daddy or a rich man. At 11 p.m., it's announced if you're not fucking or sucking, you gotta go. And almost no one leaves because they came for the chance to meet a rich, powerful man and they're willing to participate in any sexual activities to achieve their goal. When these females play the game, then decide years later they will play the victim card, society loses. Real victims are ignored while everyone focuses on these fraudulent groupies posing as survivors. Females want to have sex with rich, powerful men. They want to participate in sex acts because they don't want to work for their own money. You don't see successful, educated women who worked for their own shit going on TV, reality shows, writing books on who they had sex with and profiting from being a victim. Real victims don't seek fame and money, they seek justice.